Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. If you're a question in, the heading in the email is Nikon DX Lens Recommendations, Sigma 17 to 70 Macro over the 18 to 55 kit. Nikon Video Kit, worth it. This comes in from uh, Chow. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, Hello, Matt. Your channel has been very helpful in getting my queries resolved over time. Please recommend me lenses for Nikon crop sensor, which can be used for both landscape photography as well as video. I own a Nikon D5500, an 18 to 55 millimeter uh, kit, 35 f1.8G, along with accessories like the uh, Rode Video Mic Pro, nice mic, uh, 52 millimeter circular polarizer, Vanguard video tripod, Flycam 3000. Feedback on my Nikon video, my requirements being uh, photography video 50-50. So he's saying uh, he shoots about 50% of each, 50-50. Also, I've been considering the Sigma 17 to 70, 28 to 4 macro. Do you believe it's a good investment over my kit lens? So uh, addressing your question about the landscape photography as well as video. The lens I would recommend is the new Nikon 10 to 20. I think it's small, light, good price, and would work well with your 5500. It was a 5500 we were looking at here. I was just flipping from the page. Yeah, 5500. So uh, that's what I would recommend, the AFP DX Nikkor 10 to 20 mil VR lens. Uh, and you've got a nice uh, range. 10 is pretty good. But the only thing that's going to beat it is going to something like the Sigma 8-16, to which I really like. But I suspect um, two things. This is cheaper than Nikon 10-20 to and also probably performs well being a, uh, better for video, being an AFP lens, than that Sigma does. Uh, the other thing is you're asking about the Sigma 17-70. to I think that's a very good lens. I think it probably performs better than your 18-55 to kit lens uh, as far as optics and whatnot. Uh, it's a little wider and a little longer, and it has macro abilities. So, um, and it's also a 2.8 to 4. So you could shoot it as a constant aperture f4. That's typically how I would use a lens like that. Um, so a good range and uh, faster than your kit lens. So yeah, I would I would recommend that. It's a good lens, 17 to 70. A lot of people like that lens. It's a good good performer. So uh, I think it would be a good investment over your kit lens, and then you could sell your kit lens and recoup what you could out of that towards it. So that's what I would do. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me on the recommendation of the 10 to 20 for the uh, landscape uh, photography and video as a lens? Do you agree with me about uh, okaying the purchase of the Sigma 17 to 70? Do you own the Sigma 17 to 70? What do you think of it? Have you shot it? Do you own the Nikon 10 to 20? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Let's help out, Chow. Uh, always great to hear back from you guys. Get some extra input, extra advice when our uh, viewers are having questions and trying to decide what to do, what to purchase for their camera gear. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.